Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about one of my favorite mysterious subjects, planet Venus. Here we have Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, and we had yet to really make a close-up picture of her. Aeronautics and Space Report. We know very little about Venus because we cannot see through its thick clouds. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Venus kind of looks a whole lot like Earth. This is Venus here. This is Venus here. You know, come to think of it, we don't really talk about Venus much. The Venus is a very active, dynamic planet. Stay cool. Thor News presents... Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. This is a science alert. We're over at science alert. Astronomers have spotted a massive bulge in Venus's atmosphere. All right, insert your own weird, creepy jokes here now. I'm in no mood to make bulge jokes, baby. Astronomers have spotted a massive bulge in Venus's atmosphere. It could be the largest gravity wave ever witnessed. A massive bow-shaped bulge has been spotted in the upper atmosphere of Venus, and astronomers are trying to explain how it could withstand the gush of sulfuric acid clouds that are spinning faster than the planet itself. What? What are you talking about? The clouds are spinning faster than the planet itself? That is crazy, man. Sounds like Venus is acting like Earth, or is Earth acting like Venus? Crazy days indeed. Their best guess is that the strange 10,000 kilometer, 6,214 mile structure, wow, is the result of what could be the largest gravity wave ever witnessed in the solar system. But there's one problem. Scientists didn't think gravity waves could form this high up in the atmosphere. Sounds more like a blast wave. Was it from a coronal mass ejection, possibly? Um, was it from cosmic rays? Civil war on Venus? Um, Val Thor represent? Nah, I was, am I related to Val Thor? I don't know. Maybe. The massive wave that you see in the infrared image above, stretching from Venus's north to south pole, was spotted by Japan's Akatsuki probe back in December. Ah, oh, okay. For four days straight, it dominated the planet's incredibly hot and dense atmosphere at about 65 kilometers above the surface, and stayed eerily still, even in the face of Venus's legendary 223 mile per hour winds, or Torcon 5 tornado winds, baby, and it vanished from above the clouds about as promptly as it had appeared. As the spacecraft waits patiently for the wave to reappear, Europe's Venus Express spacecraft spotted a number of similar structures during its 10-year mission. Scientists are now tasked with explaining the peculiar phenomenon. The team behind the Akatsuki probe says all the evidence is pointing towards the bulge being a massive gravity wave, something that occurs when a fluid material such as a liquid gas or plasma is jostled out of position of equilibrium. They suggest that, given the intense speed and shape of Venus's sulfuric acid, winds, the only structure that could withstand all that is a massive gravity wave, despite the fact that no one had predicted they could grow this big. What causes gravity waves? Planet X? Um. The angry cries of flat earthers? Was Venus flat too? Bro, Venus is real bright in the sky, you know. I don't know what Venus is, but Venus is real. Grow rich from pot stocks? Oh no, you won't fool me twice, sucker. I invested some money in pot stocks and then the SEC shut them all down, jerks. The SEC was like, we think you guys might have some faulty accounting. We're just gonna shut you down. And I was like, where the hell were you guys in 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008? You know, like they literally, your AAA bonds had to collapse for you guys to even pay attention. But, oh, you're watching penny pot stocks, like a father chaperoning a prom date. Whatever, man. The present study shows direct evidence of the existence of stationary gravity waves. Gravity waves. And it further shows that such stationary gravity waves can have a very large scale, perhaps the greatest ever observed in the solar system, the team reports. All right. For a bit of background into just how unlikely it is for something this big to survive in Venus's atmosphere, the fiery planet boasts thick clouds of sulfuric acid that move in a westerly direction faster than the planet itself rotates on its axis. <sighs> See, Venus is fascinating. Venus is awesome. Venus is amazing. And because science is anti-women, they're all on like male Mars going, hey, look, more Martian dirt. Oh, wow, look, Martian dirt with a brand new color of orange we've never seen before. Asterisk, we've seen that color of orange before, of course. And Venus, like, you'd think we'd have, like, four 
GoPros floating around Venus, giving us a 24-7 feed. And at least that's what I would do. You know, I know they're not GoPros. We need something fancier and more expensive. But whatever. I'm just saying. They don't talk about Venus, which means we should be paying attention to Venus. And Venus has been really, 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 really bright in the sky lately. For a bit of background into just how unlikely it is for something this big to survive in Venus's atmosphere, a fiery planet boasts thick clouds of sulfuric acid that move in a westerly direction faster than the planet itself rotates on its axis. And as fast as those acid clouds are, planet's rotation is painfully slow. One day on Venus lasts longer than it takes for the planet to complete its orbit of the sun. Wow, I didn't know that. How did I not know that? I don't appreciate being a dumbass. Even I learned things at Thor News. The phenomenon is known as super rotation. Slow your rotation, stellar fool. And it causes Venus's entire upper atmosphere to appear like a blur of speeding clouds, which makes a 10,000 kilometer long wave chillingly stubbornly. What? Your grammar sucks, buddy. Your use of words is sciencey crap, which makes a 10,000 kilometer long wave chilling stubbornly on the cloud tops something of a surprise. Wait, what? Which makes a 10,000 kilometer long wave chilling stubbornly on the cloud tops something of a surprise. Okay, maybe I just didn't read it right. So how did it, this apparent gravity wave form? Wow. I guess Trump banned science editors or something. So how did this apparent gravity wave form? First off, you don't know. And it's not a gravity wave. It's a force wave, man. In an explosion, it's not usually the fire or the shrapnel that kills you. It's the force wave. I learned that from a super badass FBI guy. So how did this apparent gravity wave form? First off, gravity waves are entirely different from gravitational waves. Oh. So don't get the two mixed up. Okay, I won't. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that were directly detected in early 2016. The first time since Einstein predicted them over 100 years ago. Gravity waves, on the other hand, are far more simple. We have them here on Earth. And they're basically just a ripple or disturbance in the density of a planet's atmosphere. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm just, I don't know, whatever. Gravity! It's thought that Venus's massive gravity wave formed due to its towering mountain ranges. As Emma Gray Ellis explains for Wired, if wind is rushing over an uneven surface, such as a jagged mountain, oh my god, are you serious, Emma Gray Ellis? <sighs> if wind is rushing over an uneven surface, such as a jagged mountain range, or even a turbulent ocean, tension is created between air particles wanting to move up and gravity wanting to push them back down. Can we get an exact date of this thing? The jostling for equilibrium is what causes gravity waves on Earth like over the Andes in Patagonia. And the Akatsuki team says, it's no coincidence that this phenomenon keeps appearing over Venus's highlands. Yeah, because the NASA team can't say nothing because they ain't got no satellites over there. They can just go, hey, look, Mars dirt, and we will be there to play with that dirt in like 20, 30, 40 years. They suggest that surface winds on Venus triggered the formation of the massive gravity wave when they pummeled into the 4,500 meter high Aphrodite Terra mountain range that looms near the planet's equator. We suppose islands are key to generating the stationary gravity waves because most of the bows, and we have found more than 15 bows so far, oh really, have appeared above the highlands at their centers. One of the researchers, Makoto Taguchi from Rikyo University, told Ellis, while the researchers are confident in their explanation, many questions remain, including the mystery of how the gravity wave got so high above the surface in the first place. Venetian weed, man. Venetian weed. That gravity wave's on drugs. Go home, gravity wave. You're drunk. The team hopes to address the question with further observations of the planet. With that insight, we might finally be able to answer an even bigger question. How did Venus's crazy super rotation occur? I don't know. We don't entirely understand how the atmosphere comes to the super rotating state, but gravity waves are one contributing factor, said Gerald Sherbert, Schubert, a geophysicist at the University of California, Los Angeles. He wasn't involved in the study, told Wired. Feature probably arising at least in part by gravity waves will tell us more about the role they play in atmospheric dynamics. All right, the research has been published in Nature Geoscience. <sighs> Venus, she's a mystery man. And she's got two faces. Two faces is weird. All right, peace out. God bless everybody. We'll talk about Venus later.